everybody. Today we're going to have a little look at what the main consequences of World War II were. If you see this word consequences, it means the same thing as impact or results. Firstly, we're going to look at some of the immediate consequences of World War II. Deaths and injuries. The Axis powers had about 5.1 million civilian casualties, while the Allied powers had about 25.4 million civilian casualties. The Axis powers had 5.9 million military casualties, while the Allied powers had 18.6 million military casualties. Destruction and economic revival was another consequence of World War II. Cities, roads, railways and harbours throughout Europe were destroyed. America used martial aid to help European governments to rebuild. World War II created a huge number of refugees. By 1950, 11.5 million Germans had left Eastern Europe. Many Jews leaving concentration camps found that their homes had been taken and so they had to live in camps before emigration to countries like Israel and the United States. After World War II, two million Poles had to leave Soviet-occupied territory. The Nuremberg War Trials put leading Nazis like Goring and Ribbentrop on trial. Twelve of these Nazis were sentenced to death, three were given life sentences and three were acquitted. World War II also had a series of long-term consequences. The first of these was the division of Germany. After World War II, Germany was initially split into four occupied sectors before being split into the GDR and the DDR, so East and West Germany. Germany remained divided like this until the 3rd of October, 1990. After World War II, Japan was occupied by US forces until 1952. Following the US withdrawal, they still maintained military bases in Japan. After World War II, the USA and the USSR emerged as superpowers. Their conflicting ideologies led to the Cold War. The USA worked to contain communism, while the USSR installed communist governments across Eastern Europe. World War II meant an end to European supremacy. Britain and France were no longer strong enough to hold on to their empires, and between the 1940s and 1960s, their empires were decolonized. In the aftermath of World War II, there was a move towards European unity. European leaders promoted European unity, and this eventually led to the formation of the European Union. Because the League of Nations failed to prevent World War II, a new organization called the United Nations was set up. Both the USA and the USSR joined. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye everybody!